Warning, the consumption of raw beef may result in an increased risk of mild irritation, general discomfort, and or hurt feelings. Viewer discretion is advised. You know, uh, for a long time, mm. I uh, thought I'd never actually meet my imaginary friend in person. I've said this about you so many times on stage. <laughs> it's just bizarre. Yeah, <laughs> where, where like, like uh, y you have such an energy, such a unique uh, presence, right? I mean, it's kind of you to say. And you're not a cunt. Is that true? It's most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, okay, okay. I've seen you be a cunt. Yeah, oh yeah. But you've seen me be a cunt. Everyone. We've all seen. Yeah. Everyone can be you a cunt. You can't work together right, for right, as many right. years as we have and right. not at some point. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? But just because you can be something doesn't mean you are doesn't the thing. Doesn't mean you are Because I've also seen cunts be good people. When? To get ahead. Oh, sure. In, ah, in, in, ah. Mo in moments of like <laughs> dominance, in moments of sh shysterism. Sure, sure. Right? And yeah. so. You can't, you know, you, I got to judge. I think consistency is how you, I'm, judge is the wrong it's your word, average. but how you rate a person. Yeah, yeah. sure. And your average Judgment is definitely day is today. Today, if I were, if I were St. Peter, you're getting in, buddy. I love you. you gotta, I feel if, the if same I way St. about you. If I were St. Peter, yeah. you got an all access. In fact, really? how about this? VIP? You don't even need the VIP. You're, <gasps> you're the guy, you're the guy who doesn't even need the badge. You just okay. walk in and yeah. everybody else is like, who the fuck I'm was I'm cutting that? the line. Who the fuck was that? Wow. And then I go. It's Mehran Kagani. That's huge. <laughs> In the camera right wow. now. Bam. Wow, Sean Ooh, Patton. It's like Sean I'm... Patton. <laughs> it's not as good. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff, dude. Oh, my. <laughs> that's pretty good stuff. Yeah, still bad. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, you, yeah, that's, uh, that's something, uh, you know, you, I remember meeting you, mm. but it doesn't feel like one event. It feels oh, no. like just when I think about like, the, the inciting incident that led to our friendship. Yeah. It's like a blur of images and glitter and ja <laughs> jackets. Jack, like a, so many sports coats uh -huh. with fe like feathered lining and, yeah. <laughs> and well, Doc yeah. Martens. Sure. Always Docs. Always Doc Martens. Always Docs. Uh, and True TV's comedy knockout. That, I think, was yep. it. I think it was. Obviously, I'd seen you and like, and I. In Boston, you, a lot of people kind of like, there was like a little bit of Sean Patton worship. In Boston? Oh, yeah. Wow. I Before didn't... I moved to New York, there I were, didn't... wow. There were people who would be like, him. In Boston? He is the one. You want to know something fucking crazy? Mm. I, uh, Boston's one of those cities that I traditionally feel like I have a rough time in. Well, but the, among the comics. Do you know what I mean? Like, the, okay. as a city, it's just, pretty, like, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it wears a vest. You yeah. know what I mean? Boston is a city wears a vest. But uh, but the comics from Boston have always held you in incredibly high regard. I wonder, well, that's A, so flattering. I It's so flattering, I have to pretend like I didn't hear it. Same. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, that's too, that would make me too happy. Your intro gave me diarrhea. It did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, like, but, well, I wonder if other performance art types, if go th I, I'm sure they do, like musicians are like, oh, um, yeah, of course they do. Yeah, there are comics, comics, there are musicians, yeah. musicians, yeah. Right? actors, 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 absolutely. I used to be so afraid of the idea of being a comics comic, but now since literally the entire fucking planet does comedy, uh -huh. it's great. <laughs> sure. But also, I don't know if I am. I mean, it's hard to even define what that means I anymore. I know, you know that you are. Yeah. I know yeah. that you are. It's like, uh, you know... G once you become a professional comedian, a yeah. lot of it is just flipping burgers, right? Like you show up to a venue, you get the laughs, you hit your mark, you like right. people get their entertainment dollars worth, and then you roll out, you stay, right? While while maintaining a level of like I, this is how I flip the burgers. Oh yeah, of course. Right. It's yeah. not. Yeah. It's not like I'm gonna flip it my way. Yeah, but you're gonna love it. It's your bur but yeah. you. Yes, have it's rare. I only cook them rare. Of keeping, uh, like you're you're always playing with the recipe. But it's still your burger. I like you get up there and yeah. you are you are actively thinking. Sure. Whereas it's not always the case that one has to as a comedian remain actively thinking. Sometimes you're just there doing the job. You and it do you think that shows? Because I do. What? I've seen it. I've see, you see you can see when someone's on autopilot. Sure. Yeah, but, what, but there's no uh, way to do a job. In my opinion, I don't see you do it. I see you risk it. You'll be like, fuck it. You know, I'm going to stay alert and active. And if yeah. like, the audience is on my wavelength, super. And if they're not, you still got to explore and do the thing in a creative way. Yeah. 
I don't do that. Yes, you do. Oh no, 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 no. I there are days where I where good enough has to be good enough. That is, it's well, you should know that is impossible to pick up on. Ah, it seems like you are always one thousand percent in the moment. You're up there. You've got a a big fan. <laughs> you're like talking. You're like you 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 call. This is the thing. You, you're the only person, one, you're the only, you, there's like five things you say that you're the only person who says them. Okay. One of them is you call people fish. Oh yeah, sure, fish, yeah. And it's 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 mm. like, it's almost <laughs> akin to the mafia, forget about it. Like, it's all, I have a there's some so much context. Uh, of, you, uh, like I've, I've seen you say it to someone in like a, shut up, fish, you're being too much here. Ah. I've seen you say it in a way someone walks in with a fucking outfit you like, you're like, fish. I haven't fished in so long, but I understand. It's so weird because it came up with my trainer today. He brought up fish, and he like we sang a song about being fish. Wait, that no, was it because he's like you should eat more fish, no, or because he's no, like you, only, why don't you call actually, me? That is how it started. Fuck <laughs> off, Sean Patton. I I literally I can't. That is literally how we went into it. But so fish, do you know the the gay? No. Okay, so I, oh, is it, I didn't know it was a. Th I thought oh, it was a yeah. maron. Oh yeah, no. Right. In gay circles, okay. now I I use it in a very specific way. Yeah, but in gay circles, uh, particularly in drag circles, okay, to be fish is to be feminine. Right, oh. fish, as in fresh from the sea. Oh, also, slap it around. also, it's a reference Sorry. to the vagina smell. But oh, which is which is which <laughs> skirts a line, which skirts a line, right? <laughs> as in, she's so pussy, she's I'm, fish. I'm, and, and, and I'm only laughing like this because, like, as much as women are like, especially straight women are mm. like, we're allies to gay men. Oh yeah, the things I've heard gay men say about and two straight women it's Absolutely. like oh fuck oh yeah some of it's just like damn yeah all right oh yeah no i mean yeah. misogyny is like you know yeah. no one has a corner of the market on it and in fact <laughs> we're gonna get to that all right, so yeah. Uh, so fish is, is a, a feminine way of, is is like that they are naturally so thin. Right. They have like maybe Scaly. like a recessed chin. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like the, right. the markers of femininity. What? I want to. I want now. I wish. I want to inject the idea of calling someone a catfish, but catfish. not, <laughs> but not in the sense of how it's commonly used, mm. where it's like, oh, you're fucking with someone, mm -hmm. but like just a a, a feminine dude with like a big ass mustache. Yeah. Okay, that's very strong. A catfish. Yeah. You know? Or yeah. a bottom feeder. I like that too. Bottom Bottom. Right? Like a swampy fit like feminine. God, that's good. Catfish. Like a fucking net, yeah. just like you know what he's up to. And he sucks to the elbow. You, you, right he can take it right, <laughs> right to the elbow. Right. <laughs> Isn't that how you catch a f catfish? I mean, in the it, yeah, at, right? at, at the Stonewall Inn, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So fish <laughs> is like, and and there are there are men and drag queens who take it incredibly seriously. Like, wow, okay. I'm fish. Oh, she's fish. Oh, honey, she fish. And so I started to say that I was fish. Okay. When I like weighed maybe seventy pounds more than this and like paid and put very little effort into my yeah. personal uh, yeah. presentation, so I would be like, "Oh, and I am fish tonight," and I was just saying it ironically and without without exception. Somebody was always pissed. They would be like, "You're not fish." Like oh. someone would always, and I'm like, "I obviously know I'm not fishy. Like I'm a gorilla person. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. But I'm not blithely unaware of what I look like. If you're a if you're a gorilla though, mm. you're like you're like Beast and X Men. If yeah. you know that reference, yeah. Where it's like, okay, you may be a gorilla, you but you're a gorilla like... who can fucking dance. And ah. a gorilla who's light on his toes. Very good at math. A gorilla, the gorilla who can ride the the, the little bicycle across yeah. the. <laughs> you're like a very, you're sure. a graceful ass gorilla. Circus gorilla. Yeah. I, I'll take that. Yeah, because I because I've seen. I don't know if gorilla is a is a gay animal category. No, but I I'll take. But I but I start it. but I know it. gay dudes who I would call gorillas. I'm a gorilla. Are, but 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 like who are like big lumbering. They, yeah, they don't present as gay. Oh, you know what no. I'm saying? Like right. They, so that's like my husband a little bit, but my <laughs> Noah. Yeah, no, but Noah's bear down, right? He's de he's all bear. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, he, yeah. That's there's a bear. Yeah, oh yeah, Mikey's a big old he, bear. Mike's, I mean, I'm a little bit. I'm a bearish. You're bearish. You're bearish. Yeah. All right. Fuck yeah. yeah dude. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're barren. I. You're the barren straight. <laughs> I. Uh, I. I mean, Mike's full on bear. He's bear. Like grizzly bear. Oh, I mean, like I. I. But the first like two years I knew Mike, I just would. I would throw it at him, and I'd be like. Like, uh, have you arrived at this yet? 
You know what I mean? <laughs> and, uh, and no, it stuck. Are you coming to the stream? Seriously, do you know what you look like? Do you see how you read? Yeah. But, uh, no, but and not to say that he reads as gay. Do you know he does have eyelashes and he is here suit and he is big. Yeah. But uh, not big like. Do you okay? So. Um, <laughs> and we can tell from here his socks match his underwear. Yeah, that, that old chestnut. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He cares. He does. He cares. He's a Care Bear. So uh, I, the, Noah's a bear. Yeah. I think when I see myself in a mirror nude, there's no question. The arms are long. Okay. The titties are 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 more simian than they are any there's, other there's animal. There's landscaping that's oh. been done. Oh yeah. I mean, just fur. See, that's what would belly, throw, yeah. That's what if 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 I were. In, in going out, and if I was jumping into a gay orgy situation, mm. this is where I would throw everyone. Because mm. you you look at me and you'd be like, I can't wait to see the fucking the trees upon this land, upon this earth. But you're all, not hairy. No, weird. It's neck up and waist down. You bent over once, and I saw the top of your ass, and it wasn't hairy. No, and that was a surprise to me. And I am now. I'm. That made me, dude, you, you don't understand the levels in which that is a compliment to me. It is. It's, of course I look. Of course. One, I look. One, I think you're kind of a sex symbol, and that's not like I'll me. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Again, yeah. I I, uh, I don't, I typically don't, uh, in environments that like, where in functional environments, I don't bring sexuality. Does that make any sense? Like at rehab, I ju you know, I went to rehab. Right. So I... I didn't hit on dudes at rehab. It's not where I see it. When I go to the gym, I don't hit on dudes at the gym. Oh. And when I go to work, I don't. I you don't compartmentalize like. It, I just. I literally just. I'm, it's not yeah. where my head is. I'm not thinking. Oh fuck! Let's everybody fuck. Yeah. Like when I'm in fuck mode, I'm in fuck mode. Right. But it. Right. It's literally. It's not on the table. In places right. where I have something to fucking do. Yeah, like you're a. You're like. Is it like you're like a. Six days a week, busy, one day a week, just debauchery. Yeah. Can't like get me on the phone. Absolutely. Because the phone's up Noah's ass. That's that's and, her. You know? Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, Where's <now>? my charger? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. Go dig the twink out of the cabinet. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm not, and not twinks. Not in the twinks? No, I can't. I, do you know what no. it is? It's cause the, the size difference. Do you know what I mean? Like, the reason I like, right, in Albanese is because... Uh. Uh, he, the the the, 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 Titans can clash. Oh, Do you hear what I'm saying? Sure. I don't, when it's, when sure. I'm, I, the idea of like, it feels like I'm hugging my mom or something. A, Do you know what I mean? little, yeah, yeah. I can't, yeah. I don't feel good and I don't see how any man does. You should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, 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 no. <laughs> You're squeezing a little, it's your little brother. Yeah, yeah. It, I don't understand. Like, and even with women, I don't, no. I think that's one of the things that I don't find attractive about women. Like, girl lips, the smallness. Oh, the, t the tiny, the tiny little, yeah, yeah. There is sort of like a, uh, I mean, a, back to fish, an effeminate, a feminine, yeah. like, build. You know, that, yeah, like, being yeah. attracted to, to the feminine is normal. Yeah, yeah. I am not attracted to that. What about like a what about like a big girl like a like a I don't like mean like a big bitch like, like, a, like, like one a big, big built like a yeah, stocky like, like a, a tall big bitch like a strong bitch like a Serena Williams like she's right. like a big she's like not and I, when I say big I just mean like in no stature. her musculature, musculature like you know yeah, yeah, yeah. can she hold her own in a she fight absolutely yeah, 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 yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. one one yeah. donkey kick and you're down yeah, yeah and I love that yeah uh, I love that in terms of uh, like. Sorority, yeah. I feel like a terrific sense of sorority with with powerful women, with sure. physically powerful women. But yeah. again, I don't like. I, I don't. I've never felt like Prince Charming. Sure. I've never felt like I'm there to rescue a lady. You, well, yeah. you, when you hold a woman in your arms, you feel like a certain. You enjoy that feeling. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess I get. But do you? But do you like to be the held one? Um. I, I, I don't really have a preference for holding or being held. Because that was, I remember early on, the concept of like, when, when, when as a straight dude-ish, when you hear about the concept of top and bottom for the first time, mm. right? I, I think every guy kind of goes to bottom being the subservient, top being the dominant. But then I've heard it's the other way around, that that bottoms usually are the... The, the, then you are entering like power bottom territory yeah, yeah, yeah. and all of that stuff. Uh, lately, have you heard about sides? 
Ha! As in, I'm not a top, I'm not a bottom, I'm a side. Like a hybrid? As in, it's like, I'm really here to just like swap blowjobs. Thanks so much. Oh. Everybody be cool. Like, you don't uh. need to, like, I'm not trying to get, you know what I mean? You don't have to throw it in my can. Uh. Nobody has to, like, everybody relax. It hurts. I, I did like the idea of, like, the idea of, like, a, the power bottom being, like, the stoic, like, foundation and the top being just sort of like the... The clown, just like, like, ah! like almost like the bottoms, like film actors, and the tops, like a thespian. You know what I mean? Ha! <laughs> like, no, I mean, oh, oh, we have so much we can unpack here. So much we can unpack. Yeah. In my twenties, I was definitely like, uh, yeah. like giddy up, like as in, like, mm -hmm. I mean, I would, I would hop on top. Yeah. Like not to bang, but to be banged. Yeah. Like I'd lay them down like a starfish, and then I get on top of it. And yeah. you know, and now you lay them down like a starfish. Now, yeah, you know back, what I mean. Just back like to fish. Like, look at your dead feet. The whole thing. When I see a man in that situation, I have uh. so little respect for him. And uh, word, but you know, I was young. I was interested. But now I'm. I've seen it all. You know, really quickly. A back, just uh, before I forget, whenever, whenever you said fish all those times, mm. I always equated it in my head that you were somehow alluding to like, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Oh. So you, when you said fish, it was like yeah. one of us, common ah, folk, another no. person. Oh, that's so lovely. We're that one is... of the fish in the sea. So you're like fish. Yeah. That's why it had no definitive. Fishmongery yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. being an angler or something. Sometimes sort of... it was a nat sometimes it was bad fish, sometimes it was dope fish. No, a lot of times you would, yeah. you might have heard like, hey, Gerlina, fish Tina. That was what I would yell at someone. Like okay, I yeah. was I'm I'm always pushing. I do I don't have a gay agenda, but I do have a feminine agenda. Sweet. I am always trying to sort of quiet macho in the room. Yeah. <laughs> that is something I am yeah. always doing. Yeah. And uh because it's oh it's always bad, Sean. And well you have a, you also have a very like no you're like one of the guys who I there's very few macho dudes who I think would see you in an angry state mm. and revert back to what they think they would have done to a gay dude. Like you know uh. like no no one's gonna look at you and drop, you know, be like, Hey, look at this fucking Bundle, oh, of, this bundle of flaming sticks. No, no, no. You know? Oh, you, you, uh, are, are, will you, will you get demonetized or something? No, you, you can say that all you want. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, but that's uh, the like that's just by virtue of being, I think, yeah. like a little unhinged and physically intimidating. And yeah, and also like outside of it all. Uh, Iranian first generation grew up in Boston. Yeah, and a, and an abused kid. So I've yeah, known yeah, yeah. violence since the age of three. Yeah, so it's like you're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're talking about a lot to unpack. Yeah, wait, I got, I got to ask, and if you don't want to talk about it, we won't. But mm. how was rehab? Oh, it was the best. Yeah, yeah. Because you, I know you, you said you were just. You told me, and if I can remember, you said there was one night where you just, no matter how many pills you took, you couldn't sleep. I couldn't sleep just from all the sugar and booze in your system. Uh, no, it no. was it was from years of abusing hypnotic sleep medication, benzodiazepines, uh -huh. and tons of and twenty seven years of drunk. Yes. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. My sleep was was it it just stopped working. Yeah. No wow. matter how many pills I took, and that was when I gave up. I had tried to dry out on my own a right. few times, and it never like. I would literally, uh, the, just before I went to rehab, I took three weeks off of work mm -hmm. and I titrated down so I wouldn't go into, so I wouldn't have seizures from mm -hmm. stopping drinking. And uh, Wait, yeah. what is it? Tight, what is it? What is it like, titrate, as in you, you. Oh, you just sort of like weaned yourself off. You wean yourself just off. Just little sips like, here and, and there, a little, you, and then last. And as then. in like, tonight I can have a bottle of wine. Tomorrow I can't have anything. The night after uh, I can have two glasses. Okay. Then I can't, and it was. <laughs> so I got down to nothing for five days. And was steady, no shakes. Okay, okay. Walked into the cellar, right. and immediately picked up. Just right away. Like yeah, right, it's, as it's in hard. It, it was. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. So, I knew that I needed to kickstart it, and I knew that I needed like a safe space to figure out what a sober me would look like, because I, basically in my adult life I had never been sober. Yeah. Fuck, man. Mm. That is a, where, where was it? Where'd you go? Uh, Pennsylvania. That, the mountains of Pennsylvania. Oh, you got so you got the Adirondacks or whatever? Uh, no? Yeah, it was, a, yeah. it was outside of Lancaster. It was a place called Ephrata. Right. It was like an Amish country. Like you could see them whipping animals and <laughs> shit. <laughs> They're not nice. They're <laughs> not, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people are like, <laughs> oh, lovely like the Amish. Not lovely. Whip and, the butter right out of yeah! You churn, out of a you churn horse. yourself, motherfucker. Whip the butter out of Give a horse. Give me some of that horse butter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horse butter, by the way. No, uh, that's don't worry about it. 100% what, uh, 
with like the name of a lube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, horse butter. Horse oh, butter. Oh, you, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Oh, goddamn right. Slather that dick Shock in that horse butter. To, chalk that to another raw beef promoter <laughs> business. The raw beef. Raw, but we'll get to that. Yes, but sir. horse butter. Um, I am. So you're in the mountains for how long? Uh, I was supposed to be there for 30 days. Omicron broke out. So oh shit! Literally. Over three quarters of the campus tested positive. I mm. kept testing negative, but I was like the first person to lose a sense of smell and taste and cough all night. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I kept testing negative. 11 negative tests while wow. I was there. Yeah. And, uh, and even my PCR test came back negative. Like it was uncanny, but like I genuinely couldn't taste it. Wow, yeah, yeah. It was so obvious. And I might have been patient zero. That's crazy. Yeah, you yeah. know, I didn't. Th I don't think I brought it there. You might. Yeah, you might have. But might I was among the first. I certainly got ever my, all, both of my roommates sick. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, hey, and they all got through it though. Look yeah, that. but they mm. because I kept testing negative, and because their needs for mm. the COVID people, like nurses, like that. This is right also around when uh, they tried to pass legislation so that they didn't have to pay nurses as much. Like, uh, so it was just like November ish. Uh, it was December, it was December, December going yeah, yeah. into January, yeah, yeah. and uh, because you know, nurses were calling their shots, they were like, you know, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a day gig nurse and I'm gonna charge you what the fuck I want, yeah. And uh, so they just didn't have enough staff and uh, resources to take care of everybody, and they kicked me out a week early. So you did three full weeks though. I did 23 days. Oh, 23 yeah. days. I mean, it, it seems to have worked. Oh, no. And, like, I no. got out and, yeah. like, immediately did, like, a second re recovery program. I got. I had to, like, get as much help as possible. Yeah. I, you know, you find out after the fact that, like, uh, I, I met so many people with complex trauma when I was there. Like, sure. literally every last person. Sure. How about every last person? Yeah, I mean. Like, that's a yeah. bizarre... It's just, I, and I guess life is fundamentally right. itchy. Right. Like it's it's already weird, but uh, it just, I believe it, that if you have the ism, that if you have this somewhere in like your genetic makeup that we haven't found, we haven't been able to tie a specific gene to alcoholism. Yeah. Like my dad couldn't leave the house without eight ounces right. of vodka. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, Like yeah. as in straight. Just, uh, yeah. That was to get out of the house. Neuro neuropsychiatrist, like an, an accomplished doctor. Yeah. yeah, yeah but couldn't, couldn't leave the house. Still need that. a buzz. To, to, yeah, yeah. Just to function. Well, yeah. I mean, when you say complex trauma, I mean, I think a lot of people don't realize like trauma is like oxygen. It can get into and come from anywhere. Mm, it's totally. not, you know what I mean? It's not this. I feel like there's like, I kind of feel like nowadays it's like hip to be a victim, hip, like <laughs> hip to be, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm yeah. not hip to, or hip to just not be or hip to have to oh i struggled it's uh -huh. like everybody wants to have to constantly point out <laughs> their struggle and constantly and i mean like for some people it's like yeah that was a real struggle uh -huh. we should hear about this uh -huh. yes what you went through that was a real trauma yeah that was a real victim but then uh, you, you see a lot of people who are like this happens a lot with white dudes uh -huh. who are like no oh, man i was poor i grew up poor and you're like define poor yeah it's like oh man you know my my uh, my dad you know was a manager at a hotel and my mom was a nurse. I'm no, like, you I, I hate poor. you so much. You weren't I mean, poor. Yeah, no, my dad had like two siblings die in the home. Right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, but, like, but you just hear people or people constantly being like, oh yeah, man, I I, uh, I grew I got picked on all the time when I was younger. I'm like, and that was your trauma? Yeah. Because guess what? That, that's but, all of our trauma. But now. actually like yeah. in, in the same breath, as much as yeah. I like, as much as I appreciate that some people have real problems mm. that deserve unpacking, I also think that like mm. just having a climate wherein feelings are mentionable yeah. Yeah. Is, is probably Probably for the for the global good. Sure, sure, a hundred percent. Mentionable and manageable. But is I'm better than mentionable. Like a bunch yeah. of people walking around like unable to speak their feelings, and then it eventually right. plays out as violence or right. some other cuckoo ness. You are correct there, and I a thousand percent am on board with that. But what I'm talking about specifically is people who are like, "This is what ha this is what I went through, and it sucked." And you're like, "Yes, confirmed, acknowledged, <laughs> great." And then eventually they're like, "But it sucked," and you're like, "I get it." And you're like, so. What do you now? What it's like? Well, now go on with your life. Like, yeah, hey, the world doesn't stop because you got bullied. I'm sorry. That's real. The and like we're the, I. How long can you keep waving that ban that that flag of like people were mean to me at a certain? But I'm not saying you. I'm no, saying, I th I think that's you know? like a very real thing. And it's like, well, what what do people want out of it? Right. Yeah. Like for me, like I would want to know. I like maybe like know when I'm. Uh, 
sort of where I'm I'm not even in the present moment because what I'm dealing with is something that right, happened right. a long time ago. Right. And so being able to identify that, but that takes a certain amount of self-knowledge, right. a certain amount of facility with uh, sort of how you've examined your life. Yeah. You yeah. have to be able to have that in order to then look at like, how does this potentially play out? Yeah, certainly. In my life. And now I can get a grip. But you're like because I right. see that. But you're like someone who like you talk about all the shit you went through, but you you wear it like a badge, which you should. It's yeah, you, it's, it's shit you went through, and mm. it, you should be proud that you got through it. Mm. But you you wear it like a badge, but you don't also have a marching band with you, pointing out constantly. Mehran, by the way, went. Through, you know what I'm saying? Like I think <laughs> I think some people I think that, that there's like a culture now of like, hey, here's my here's the shit I went through now. I don't have to be responsible for anything I do or say or 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 anyone I hurt going forward. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of that. Well, you know, and that bothers me. Where it's like, yeah, I went through. We all went through fucked up shit. I'm glad to talk to anyone about what I went through. Are but you talking also, about just like people who get who then give themselves license to just be full loco at any point yes, or time? Yes, and mm -hmm. there is a lot of this, and a lot of it, in my opinion. I'm saying it out loud. Oh, yeah. I know a microphone. The actual thing they went through does not at all. I don't think it ever justifies. It is them, not. <laughs> but it's it's like proportional. Really tell me what you went through, person. And oftentimes it's some on a scale of one to ten in the four range. But I think that's the other thing that we're yeah. finding now, though, is that some people are just more fragile. Like I think what Oof. I went through and what a, what some of the stories I heard at rehab. Jesus fucking Christ! Like I don't know a single person yeah. who would have come out of some of these situations and scenarios and, yeah. and been in one piece right you know what i mean yeah. like i i heard some real and true shit and when they heard sure. my shit they were like oh okay yeah you know and then they heard how much i was able to use and they were like oh okay but right? then you you saying that maybe some of them were thinking what you're thinking about 100 yeah, they yeah, did. yeah true 100 that's a good point they that did. is a good point but you know then there are other people like there was also like a mental health floor so there were three floors of rehab yeah. and then there was one floor of mental health and there were a lot of kids there were a lot of like gender non-binary trans kids uh just depressed white boys some of these depressed white boys you're talking about they were there yeah. because like you can just tell that it's true that like maybe their the acuity of their trauma wasn't as severe as some of the stuff that like say the vietnam vets like sure. the 50 vietnam vets i was in group with yeah uh, they didn't have something commensurate to that, but uh, but they the the severity and the acuity with which they felt those feelings sure was like when I saw it in front of me, it wasn't like I could look at it and be like he's putting that on. No, it's like this person is right, right. having a meltdown, and it's because and you know my father was a neuropsychiatrist. The bottom floor of our house was his clinic, so I saw a lot of. I think now the word is neurodiversity. No, yeah, yeah, Do we yeah, say yeah, that yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Right? So, like, I saw a lot of, I mean, I just saw crazy people who were, no. like, ripping their hair out. Yeah. And mm. I saw people who, like, couldn't help but yell at the walls. I saw, you know, mm. that was, that was, and you do characters that represent that. And when you do yeah. those characters, I love them. Yeah. But I think the other thing that I remember as a child, maybe because the bottom floor was the waiting room and I just saw that all the time. Right. But I don't, you don't see, like, severely mentally handicapped kids out and about as much in America. I feel like I just don't see them. Sure, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of like, and yeah. Like yeah. You, you see like an autistic kid or something who like is having a certain kind of tantrum of a certain order or magnitude. Sure. But you don't necessarily see like that many cases of like a kid who's like, who has to be strapped into a wheelchair because they can't stop moaning, that kind of a thing. Yeah, I mean, well, uh, okay. Uh, so I yeah. just have to take into account that different yeah. people also yeah. might, like, like I have very strong legs. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but when I'm at the yeah. gym, there's a bunch of dudes with tiny little chicken legs. And they're you're just like, yep, that's what I it is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I can't be like, yeah, well, what's fucking wrong with him that yeah. he has chicken legs? I've been walking around carrying all this motherfucking pizzazz. That's exactly <laughs> You know how much that shit weighs? Ah, that is so It is that though. It is yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I I um I think you're right that uh, it's possible that we create like a breeding ground for people to be too soft. Yeah. Right. And pe and like you kind of have to like 
See, I, I hate even using the word soft, because I hate, like, hard and soft, or, to me, are just, like, too black and white. Mm. Like, I think we should all be pliable, you know? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. there's times to be hard, there's times to be soft. Mm -hmm. I, I'm simply saying that, like, like I, you know, I have severe obsessive compulsive disorder, mm. and it fucked up my life. Mm. It, like, not, not, I mean, I'm okay now, but, like, it's still to this day. Because you learned coping skills. Coping skills, it. and it's, yeah. like, something you can never get rid of. Mm. Medicate, there's no medication to make it go away, mm. but it's just something you learn to live with, and... I, I talk about, I have bits about it. Mm. I do a bit about it in the special. I've talked about it on the album. I'll do a bit about it every now and again. But sometimes when people like want to get with me and talk about it, mm -hmm. I'm like, eh, no, it's mine. Uh -huh. That's mine. Uh -huh. That's mine for me to go through. Yeah. Like I will, I will, and, and I will, like I had um, in Cincinnati, Ohio, and at Go Bananas Comedy Club last year, uh, last December, I was doing a set there. I was talking about it on stage, and this woman and her husband came up to me, and she, this woman was like, her fa I was like, ooh, she looks like she's about to chew me out. Huh. Because, uh, I, I, like, you know, on the rare occasion. Happens. <laughs> yeah. On, but, I, like, on the rare occasion, I, like, stand and talk to people after shows. Because uh -huh. I'm just kind of a private person, to believe it or not. Um, and I just gave you an hour of, like, pure vulnerability. Mm. You know, let me Because you actually do get vulnerable. Yeah, I do. Yeah. She is. So I lovely. like to just sort of. But uh, she came up to me. And I was like, well, I'll just take this one. And she got really emotional and very thankful because she's like everything you just said on stage is something my teen, my fifteen year old daughter is going through now, mm. and we don't know what to do, and she's freaking out constantly, and I mm -hmm. just really wish there was some way, like I could have brought her to the show, and I like, so I told her <clears throat> I just basically like unloaded on this woman, just mm. like in a good way, like I was just like, look, here's what's up, here's how it happened for me, here's what I went through, here's the therapy, and she's like, can I get her on the phone right now? Wild, right? And they did. And I didn't talk to her directly. Uh -huh. I the husband had the phone. He's like, hey, listen, your mom wanted me to call. And I just kind of like verbalized everything and they kind of reiterated it to her. And uh -huh. then they were like, she started crying on the phone. She did. She was just very like, just to hear that there was someone else out there. I love that. Actually, and it was great. It was an amazing fucking moment, mm -hmm. right? And that was important because it, it. I got a little emotional. It was like, you know, sharing an experience. Because I, I remember being that young and like certain moments, for me, it didn't really hit me hard till I was like 18 ish. Mm. But I remember early teens being like, it really sucks that it takes me this long to leave my bedroom every day because I have a, at the time, I didn't realize, but a, an, a like a, a, a galaxy of rituals I had to sort of perform or the, or the world was in peril and it was all my fault. Or people I loved were gonna die or like horrific situations were gonna come true. Woof. And it's all control. It's a huge burden. And like, you know, it, it builds and it it, it crushes when you. When did eventually. you get a grip on that? When? Because I've never, I've uh, never. Uh, it was eighteen. I've when never I, had that that experience of you. I've never seen you as someone who I had to worry about. Oh, you become excellent at hiding it. Uh, sure. You become Jedi level hiding That's... it. Yeah. But it's why it's why everyone with OCD would make an amazing spy. Ha! Huh. Because you can just you we could get in and out. You'd never. You, we become so good at hiding these things that are in our head mm -hmm. that it's like amazing once you realize it's, like, oh. You're, you're so weird right. in your head and then you have to go out and be we, in the world where can you can't blend show in, any trace We can trace blend in so fucking easily. Wild. You know, um, but uh, when I was 18 years old, I snapped. I had like a full like, I, I call it a breakdown now. I wouldn't have back then, but a full like anxiety breakdown where I had to, I eventually like had to go into my parents' room like weeping. Just like, I, I'm crazy. Like, I was convinced. I was I like, I'm done. You. Lock me away. I can't, I couldn't focus. I couldn't think. I was, I had like a, what I call it, I mean, it was an anxiety attack, but I feel like it lasted maybe a day and a half. And it was just like, uh, you know? And then Hormones I found, yeah, at 18? 18, fuck. too. And then, uh, still a virgin. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, 19. Looking the way well, you I was do? 19, buddy. Wow. It was all. <laughs> but, um, Same, actually. Yeah, there you go. Mm. But, hell, hell yeah. Let's make a wish. But basically, like, you know, uh, it was in my early 20s when I was, like, in therapy a lot. I mean, at 18, I went to therapy, but it was in my early 20s when I really, like, got a grip on it. And it still rears its ugly head. Mm. Every mental ailment is stress-triggered. Well, yeah, stress -triggered. They, they, they don't have cures. They have, right. you know, management. And it means a lot to me to have been able to share this with that 15-year-old girl's mom. And I really hope that girl is okay. And I hope it adjusts. And I will talk to any single mother, anyone, mm. any single human being about this. I'll coach you through it. But what I will never do mm. is use it as an excuse. Wild. Ever. See, okay. Because so, there are people out there who have it so much fucking worse than this. It's it's a it, but it's such a you thin know? line though, Sean, because like, you know, I I watch people. I again, I was in 
like a residential rehab program with people who had mm. absolutely bottled up their shit sure. okay. for so long. And here they are talking about it for the first time. And it's like, Jesus fucking gr like, yeah, sure. If you would like maybe let the pressure out on that tire j a couple times, maybe True. it wouldn't have blown so True. much. Like, True. holy there shit. There is that end of it like, as well, for sure. Tell somebody for yeah. fuck's sake. Yeah. And it's that isn't to say that like, that run around making it use it as an excuse but it is to say that like when i see why like how this person's life has imploded a million times over yeah. and then you tell me that like you know i i won't even tell the stories because i'm afraid if like if one of them hears it that's how that's how closely i keep their confidence yeah. like they yeah. told me something sure sure but, yeah like, i know i hear you yeah yeah, yeah do you yeah. hear what i'm saying yeah like uh but just hearing the severity of some of these stories it's like of course your life unraveled right. yeah. like so i hear what you're saying about like not making excuse that being said when i hear like there is causality like yeah and sure uh i guess it's, yeah do people carry things differently like i can acknowledge that i'm not hmm. saying i mean i'm not saying i'm stronger or weaker than anyone i'm not harder nor softer again i think we always need to be pliable i think you're Toughest. There's, to I, but I'm also a, hard, I, not always, bro. Hard and I'm soft. Fucking, both. You're I'm lovely. a weak little boy a lot. I but I mean, but that's what I'm saying. I think we pliability. You know, you got to be both. But like, I also think I don't know. I just that the amount of people I've talked to, like I can tell when someone really, truly has the kind of OCD at the level I do, mm. because it's almost like I hate to keep using. I can't, I hate to keep because I have a. Because I have you on, I keep being like, wait, let me make this a gay. I, mean, I don't give a shit. I mean, but because, but, but, <laughs> me, um, uh, uh, Mateo. Okay. One time was trying to coach me. He's like, gay, guy, you know, another guy, guy's gay, but there's just a look. And he was, and he was showing me the look. And I kept trying to mimic the look back to him. Uh -huh. and he's like, no, you'll never, you're not gay, so you can't do it. And I'm like, good point. Same thing with, there's like an OCD moment where, like, I, if someone comes up to me and they're like, oh man, I didn't know. You had that as well. And uh -huh. like it's something like that. Uh -huh. And I'm like, oh fuck, this is real. I know this is someone who's really It's in the eye contact. It's, it's in the eye contact. It's just in the it's in the tone in which they say it. Wild. It's in the moment. But I've also had people come up to me and be like, dude, I am you pfft, oh, me yeah. too, bro. Ah, and like, like self-diagnosed mm, ADD, yeah, all that like, shit makes me insane. It I'm literally like, nothing bores me more. If you truly went through what I went through, you the, the memories of how fucking torturous it was for mm, so long mm. would not allow you to be like, bro. Me too, dude. Ah! I'll be counting shit left and right. You're like, so on the flip you know, side of yeah. that, it's like you you learn how to privatize it. I was from the minute I was like being abused as a kid. No, oh. I was like, this is fucked up. This is dead ass wrong. And I was telling anyone who I yeah. could like corner long enough to be like, really fucking terrible shit is happening. And, that makes sense, though. You know why? No, why? Because it was an external. It was someone else doing it to you. It was a host of people. It was a host of people. Yeah. So <laughs> whereas me, it was like me doing it to me. Ah. So I feel like that's why. I like, because I, because what you're saying, I'm like, yeah. A, I was like if, ringing the alarm, but as so you many people don't ring the alarm. Oh yeah, as they all yeah that yes. And so like that's the thing. It's you know I I would just as soon err on the side of yeah. you know people being able to voice their. No, no, I do. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Mm. Voice it. I'm mm. with you. In fact, you just saying that made me see the line there where it's like, oh, I'm looking at something that I was, uh, you know, a birth defect, basically. Mm. And that's just like it was. Yes, it fucking tortured me forever. But it was me. Yeah. It and comes like, from me. It's an internally. We talk about birth it, defects like yeah. there are these like, no, it's you know, now you're fucked for life. It's like, no, people no, like no, 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 no. you know, if you had a fucked up, if you were hard of hearing in one ear, would you be like, I'm I'm just going to miss out on conversations. No, I'm not no. wearing a hearing aid. Do you know what I mean? Like if you had a bum leg, you wouldn't use a cane. You would just sort of walk around like dragging your dead leg all day. Like you, the, if you, everyone has mm -hmm. some shit going on, whether it's right. psychological, physical, combination of all of it, right. story, life, like, and your timeline. I mean, that's what I'm, I mean, my, like, that's, that's why I guess I also, like, my birth, my birth defect is mental. Yeah. Where it's like, but then you see kids who are like, oh, you're born with yeah. four legs uh, and the they're all, and they're all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like you, yeah, or like spina bifida or something. Like, sure. I, if I had to choose between the two. You know, I, I guess I, I'm accustomed to what I'm dealing with. You're accustomed to what you're dealing but with. But like, but I can't, I can't say for sure that that's, you know what I mean? It's like, it's exactly so that. You make a good point. Hey, you. You know? 
<laughs> but, but so like, but I do err on that side. I do think everyone should vocalize it. Yeah, I guess my whole thing and is then just sometimes you have to be able to look at somebody and be like, well, yeah. But then, do you know? I think even those people who are mired in what appears to be something yeah. small, that is in and of itself something that requires sure. Like that person needs to figure out how to work around that. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a, it's again pliable. Mm. No, but don't be too hard. Don't be too soft. Mm. Be able to bend. Be able to flex. Me either. But also be able to fucking smack. Yeah, take it right in the or no or or support or bounce or bounce on yeah. it. Bounce on it. Limber up and bounce yeah. on it. I agree. Am I using Sean. the right word? Is pliable the yeah. right word? No, no. You what? What yeah. do you want to say? Is elastic. Elastic. Or, uh, yeah. You want to keep your whole elastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to. You want to. You want to. Um, Moisturize. Now, wait. Now, Meron, this does happen sometimes where the conversation is such a rollicking fucking <laughs> Was this a fun ride. fest? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was, it was exactly what podcasts are for. Mm. But we do have to get to the beef. The beef? And with the, because I, you said you had one. Uh-huh. Well, so here's the thing. You yeah. told me yeah. uh, a while ago when you, when you when told me about come coming on, on this, yeah. you told me that it was about something that pisses me off, well, right? That's it. And like that's so much of recovery work is about managing the things that piss oh, you off sure. because if you don't, then like you're just going to fall back into the bottle. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time keeping my cool, right? So then I'm like, then I opened Pandora's box of like, okay, all the things that piss me off. And I got it down to two. Okay. Right? Uh, it, it would be religiosity in general. Right and religion as it oh, plays religion. out in policy. Mm -hmm. So I like, I I will I, I I will absolutely throw away a Twitter account to be like we have to kill these people. Yeah, we yeah. have to kill these people <laughs> in power who are fucking us over with their like yeah. dated garbage. But then really it's about like male macho pack. Pac behavior, yeah, yeah, yeah. Behavioral psychology like around uh, machismo and and pack mentality. I think that that is. More or less, there like there's a lot of overlap in that yeah, Venn diagram. A it's like, uh, yeah, and that, that I think it's that it's macho pack mentality, the unfortunate insecurities of men that mm -hmm. uh, then turn into their need to group, have each other's backs, ride or die, and create like wild chains of evil. Sure, in the world. I mean, I think pack mentality in general. I agree. Yeah, is not. But you good. don't see that much of it with ladies. <laughs> Back, back mentality? You don't see that much of it. Like, they do go to the toilet together, but, yeah. like, they're not walking around, like, you know, covering up date rapes. They're just yeah. not. They're just, because they're only 70% as good at, e as, at evil as men are, right? No, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, like, they're no. fabulous at evil. No. But they're, they're, it's not organized. Men have organized no. evil. I mean, it's yeah, it's a definite, like... Pack mentality, I, I, it bothers me because I've never, ever, 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 ever done it. Mm. I've never been part of a pack. Yeah, I've never seen I've you never, do it. I, it's, it's, it, I can't. Yeah. If, and in I, fact, I've seen people try to bro down with you, and it's bummed you out. It, well, I, I, it sucks because, well, it sucks because I'm like a lifelong loner because of it. Mm. That's just what it is. It's fine. I don't mind my alone time. I, I need it in a lot of ways. But, like... Sometimes I do feel very like I was just at a comedy fest this past weekend mm. and there were moments where I'm like I don't think I fit in with any of these people and some of them I've known for 15 years and would consider my closest friends mm. But in, there were moments you know, I have no friends who are comedians aside from Yamanika. Well, I mean I, I I would like to think no 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 but I mean like no. who I talk to no, on the phone I know, I know what you mean. Who, yeah. Like yeah. you know knows that my husband had surgery. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah but like even before I was a comedian, mm. even starting with like you know kindergarten, mm. grade school, high school, like I had my friends, I had my group, but I always felt like the outlier. Mm. Always, still mm. to this day, I feel like when I go to the cellar, I love it there. I'm friends with everyone there. I love the staff. I do find a find. I do kind of always find myself pulling away. Well, it's also it's yeah. work. Yeah, but, I don't think know. that's an unnatural thing to do is to go to work and be work minded. I know that too. Do you but know I mean, what I mean? Sure. But there's something so specific that happens. Like, you know, people talk about like women in comedy and right. like why they don't like the kind when there are mediocre dudes at open mics mm -hmm. who like because these men are also there's a lot of social awkwardness in comedy. Right. Like they, they are afforded an opportunity to at least land somewhere. An arm is put around them in a way that isn't sexual. That and it's just yeah. like, yeah, come on back. And when they do that to a girl, invariably they might be making her uncomfortable because they're weird, mm. right? Mm. Or they just don't do it. Yeah. Because she can't she isn't there to talk about the MBA. 
Yeah. You know, she yeah. isn't there like uh, th- th- there isn't this like common ground of like uh, low stakes boy chat. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that creates a social pathway for them. Right, right. In right. this job. And it's like, how many times are you going to keep going back to a place where, you know, you aren't fully embraced, where there isn't room for that? It, you know, it, and, I, and I think there is, that's a good point. Cause, cause I, it's so fucking crazy, dude. Cause I, I, everything you're saying, I've seen, but I've also never, like the amount of times I myself have seen that happen from the outside and been like, Man, like no one ever took me to open for him, mm. ever. Still no. I mean, still no. I, I mean, I get to open for every now and again. Like I get to open for Burr at, at the, uh, I don't know if this episode will be out by then, but we're open for Burr at the Smoothie King Center in New Orleans. But that's fabulous. after 21 years of doing this mm. and having won his uh, approval after doing a lot of shows you around are, him. Uh, you are but absolutely like, deserving. And Bill's is fucking great. But like whenever you see that like growing and like I don't, like people are always like, who were you? Who, what class did you come up in in comedy? Mm-hmm. Which I I hate that shit. Mm-hmm. I hate that class mentality breakdown. But I'm like, I don't know. Here's who I was around. Yeah, that's all it is. But I didn't fit into any group. I was uh-huh. never part of a group. Yeah, I was always I was like the McRib. You know, ah, I would like come in and be like, here I delicious. am, and then psh, and then disappear. Can and I then, tell you, yeah. the, not the McRib, Sean. I love the McRib. <laughs> it's just delicious. But I'm, I'm saying like, yeah, but, 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 but I'm, so I'm acknowledging what you're saying. I'm not saying like, well, I don't either. I'm saying, no, I get what you're saying yeah. for what these what women are talking about, because I've seen it happen. I've definitely been watching like, man, there are a lot of people getting by on cronyism here. I there have are seen a lot some of motherfuckers. Bad bitches drop out of this yeah. gig, like some real, real funny women, some deeply and importantly funny women yeah. just fall off the vine. Yeah. Where That's... if they, I really and truly believe that if they had been men, yeah. that that they would have, you know, they, they would have kept getting that shot in the arm to stick around. Yeah. And, you know, as a homo, I think I run into a little bit of that one because I- Now you're gay. I know, I know, I know. Yeah. It's not for long, not for, not for much longer. Uh, you no, know, all these push-ups, I swear next. to God, it's yeah. just, yeah, they do. They, uh, I, I do push-ups and then, they, it, it, right now they're using it as, as a version so that I actually do push myself off of it. But there's a big old pussy right in front of my face. And, uh, <laughs> but like when I, when I, when I run out of gas, I run out of gas. Exactly. I'm just, I'm chin deep. But, uh, so, <laughs> uh, but you know it is that it, the, I I don't know my sports and I can't I don't high five guys on like crushing pussy. I mean that that's what's interesting too though. I I also attribute a lot of what you're talking about the pack mentality to the popular uh, specifically in stand up to the popularization of it all because it never used to feel that way. It never used to feel like water cooler chat. There were times where, like, it would be like, "Oh, we do this thing that's different," uh-huh. and so, we're, and we're here talking about some different shit. We're here. We're. It used to feel that way, and it felt a little like yeah. there, there was more of like you were. There was a bit of a hazing mm. based on you being funny. Like you had to show up and be funny in a very consistent way. Yeah, and then sure. you got to sort of belong. It was never really. Well, so it was when I first started out in that first decade. Everyone was an outlier. Mm. Every we were all like clearly mm. it was the same thing of being like you talk that look mm. of like you just knew you met someone you're like oh yeah we both mm. were the outcasts in our socials see we both came up as like not where do we fit kind yeah. of shit and as time has gone on now you've got motherfuckers who do this so it's like oh you were never you've never been an outcast you've Real. never been an outlier Real. you've never <laughs> been on the outside you've always just been able to but here's the thing th- I do not think this this part is specific to just men i think i've seen women too i'm like same with you you've always been now i've definitely seen women i'm talking about like who are like this uh-huh. but i think i have seen women who i'm like yeah you're you're moving up the you're ranks just gorgeous for, i don't want to be the person to say it but there's gonna you're gonna fly through the ranks for different but reasons all, but you know and don't but get I, me wrong yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not inured to the fact that like that yeah. we that this is a um that that we we do our craft in a in what yeah. is often a visual medium. Right. So it makes sense for someone to be telegenic. It makes sense for someone to like look good on camera. Dude, I do not look good on camera. There, I mean, I, I honestly believe, and I don't want to say the names of comedians, but there are comedians who 
because they are not attractive are not famous. That's it. Sure. And, and this is, and I'm talking about both men and women. But it, but yeah. th there is like a threshold where if you're yeah. ugly enough, now you're a, a superstar. M I now mean, you have the opportunity to be a superstar. Maybe. I mean, I don't. I don't even know anymore. I think maybe years ago. I think like I honestly think like a guy like I think Pat Oswalt's brilliant. Mm. I think if he was coming up now, he'd have a harder time. I sure. think. Sure. I think comedy has become more beauty centric. Sure. Like I think there are there are comedians out there who are mega successful, and it has about half to do with their jokes. Yeah. And the other half to do with their looks. Oh no, they're both men and women getting stage time. And the other, but I mean, I don't. I'm not talking about people who are got into comedy first. Sure, and I don't want to say, but I, and I, and there are comedians we both know and love who, if they looked like some of these, oh, all the would time. be gods. I say would this, be selling out oh, stadiums. I do the opposite. Yeah. I say, I say, put on forty pounds and tell that joke. Yeah, <laughs> I say that all the time. You're right, man. You know what I mean? It, it used to not feel this way. Yeah. It used to be a. It used to feel like looks mattered negative, and like it. No. It worked to your detriment. It worked to your detriment yeah. if you're too hot. Now it's like, nope, you got to be attractive yeah. in this. I mean, some. I'm not going to say who, but I will say, no, I'm not. I'm, not. I'll do I'm the, so desperate to no, know I, I, who you think. I, I, don't, I, don't, I, just like, I, just, I just, she was drunk, and I'm not going to hold it against her, and she's, uh -huh. she's older, but she's a booker of a club, and uh -huh. she once said to my girlfriend at the time, the reason I can book this comic over Sean is because this comic is pretty, uh -huh. and Sean is not. See, I think Sean is so pretty. No, I agree. I'm damn pretty. I know, do you actually feel but, that way? I yes. hope you do. But the comment, I find you very, but I think, the comment you know what she I mean? was talking about is, is definitely a fucking nine and a half, physically. A female comic male. is a nine and a half? No, a male. Oh, a male a comic male. is a nine and a half. And I get it. I'm like, I get it. And that person also sells a lot of tickets. And people just want to look at pretty things. Now I'm, It sucks. Now I think, but see, but, I feel but like. It's part of the, it's part, but this goes back to what you're talking about. Pack mentality yeah. of like, well, if all these people agree, then I have to agree. Yeah. And you're like, well, that's stupid. That's how Nazism, that's mm. how every bad thing has ever happened whenever you, that's how every religion, everything. When it you're is like, that. the group thinks this is the answer. Yeah. So it's clearly the answer. Yep. I mean, it's. And then like to, to you know, to swim against that, which is, I think, why to a certain extent, I think. Uh, the alternative voices that do end up rising to the top. It's like, they didn't have... A, you think they had an easy time fucking getting heard? No. Like, no. no and that's why no. I think they're worth a damn. That's why they're, and that's why they're great at what they're saying. Mm. It's also why, like... I mean, here we are doing the thing I'm about to shit on, mm. but why I think, like, the drive for content is bad, too, because content is just something that exists. Yeah. It, ha it, it doesn't need to... It has zero responsibility to be good or bad or anything it just had to exist there are there's no there's it's zero so funny i just dropped out of a project that had right. that mentality but that's all like when you watch all the crowd work clips when you watch all the when you listen to all the podcasts when you watch i mean how many podcast <laughs> this is such a young podcast mm. but how many podcast clips have you seen where it's two people being like no i can't you didn't just say it. yeah Wah! yeah it's like this convert Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's like, it's just, it's just a thing that exists. Yeah, it's like this conversation was great, but imagine if we had 32, uh, like, scoops of ice cream that we had to fucking <laughs> yeah. work our way through yeah, yeah. over the course of it. And it's like, there's no, content has no, it doesn't have to be good, it just has to exist, where it's like, I'm, I, and I hate how people are so terrified of the category of art now, but like, it is a thing, like, Comedy is an art form to me, mm. and it's the one I. It's the one we're in, and it, like the fact that it's like I want the shit I watch and absorb to be good, high quality shit. Yeah, and I want what I put out to be good, high quality, and it's so weird. But that, what like, you think is good, high quality shit? Yeah, is different than what someone else thinks it, is good. I do. For me, it's that, energy. Yes, it is For a, me, it has to have energy. It's subjective. I understand this. Mm. But I do think under that subjectiveness is an objective. Like, there's got, like, pe I think people can still watch. I don't know. I guess, no, but you bring up another are we, good are point. Are going to Carlin? What are, <laughs> no, you bring up another good point, though. Which like, is? where it's like, fuck, as I was about to be like, how can you not watch this person? And like, well, hold on, though, because I know what some people hail as like. I, some, <sighs> the, so I'm an immigrant, yeah. right? And when we came to America, like my brothers, my whole family, when we found Eddie Murphy's first tape, the Rose in His Air, the the, the eponymous Eddie Murphy 
record. Well, oh, oh, oh right, the record. Of yeah, his yeah, stand-up, yeah, yeah. right? With faggots and yeah. boogie in your butt. And, uh, Wait, is that the one? You can't look at my ass. I know when you're looking because my ass gets hot. No, <laughs> no it's not that's the, that one. That's the opening joke on Delirious. Oh, uh, yeah, no, Delirious. Y'all can't look yeah. at my ass. My ass. I know when you're looking because my ass gets hot. So good. Uh. But like, so I, I know there are foreigners who when comedy happens and it's not Eddie Murphy, they're like, yeah. well, then why did we even, yeah. why are we uh, even yeah, here? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. everybody has their own sort of like cultural and sure. uh, and appetite, sort of like taste-based uh, you know, thing that they look for in comedy. Some people want a clown. Some people want an intellectual. Some people just yeah. want a pretty person to like talk about pop songs. That and they, some that people they just recognize. want somebody freaking out and laughing like they're being electrocuted. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, it's like, so Gallagher yeah. went straight to the top, just hammering watermelons. Just hammering watermelons. I mean, but even that. But even like someone hammering watermelons these days by the content standard mm. is pretty highbrow. Yeah. You know, so it's like, yeah, fuck, man, just start doing, just use different tools on different fruit. Mm. I'm going to drill a mango. That's, <laughs> 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 that's wonderful. <laughs> All the different, just I, have like a random generator and it's like a fruit and a tool. And every time that that's, yeah. that's what you build the episode around. Well, cause, and here you go, here you go to your point. We're, we're shitting on pack mentality. But earlier, me being like, listen, quality is like, it's almost like me trying to push a pack mentality on people. Is being like, see this oh, my no. way. No, I, you I don't, don't think? think that's, no. I think, Sean, yeah. I think, you know, the, when you, and, and I, I say this uh, to a certain, I'm, it's going to sound like flattery, but I hope you, you hear it as, as what I, I see Crit in you. Criticism. But you, ah, yeah, it's just, I'm just going <laughs> to excoriate you now. No, but uh, you, you are a comedian with a, ton of integrity right i i know I, that about I, you. I, I i know that about I, you. thank you and so you when when you sort of share your opinion on something that's based on experience and integrity and a certain thing so when you say you mm. want something good i i can just sort of accept that yeah. from you i can i can hear that and be like okay so he wants other people who have integrity other people who do this job in a way that uh yeah has stakes isn't necessarily transactional i guess you know what you just made me think i was like what well, if i had to define good what do i mean by that mm. and what i mean is like just something real and by real i don't mean it has to be like here's the about the time i you know cried when i real when i re when i real it doesn't always it always <laughs> yeah. when, I, when i say real i don't always mean like Sailing from a problems. raw harsh place i mean like just present me with an idea on stage that actually comes from you. Mm -hmm. That isn't just you trying. Because I see, this is what I see so much, man. Motherfuckers getting on there and they're just like, you're just trying to regurgitate what you know works. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to regurgitate what you've seen work. Yeah. And you see that. I'm like, if I see someone just give me something real from them, even if it doesn't kill it doesn't matter. You can see if something's funny. I don't need an audience to tell me if it is or not. Yeah. I think a lot of people do. A lot of people need an audience reaction to tell them if it's funny or not. I don't. I think I don't. I think I think most people don't. Like you, you see something, you're like, "Holy fuck, that's funny!" And you know that came from an actual raw place, mm. real place. Mm. I even have that on. I say this as a comedian all the time. I think the only way to be truly successful, or one of the ways to be truly successful at this, is get to a point where you do not need the audience's validation anymore. You of course want it. Mm. You of course strive for it. You of course are doing the show. You are doing the show for them, mm -hmm. but it's not their show. Does that make sense? Oh, it's certainly not like, their like, show. Like it's Jesus not Christ. Their, the show Anyone is... who does this show enough should be right. able to look at an audience and be like, it is definitely not but their I don't show. But I don't think people get that. I think too many people are all about giving the audience what they want. That's insanity. I disagree. It's insanity. You give them what you want. Well, do you know what... You know? The, I, I can't remember what the context was, but it was like... Uh, um, I can't and I can't even remember the drag queen, but somebody was talking about like who are your influences yeah. as a drag queen. She was like, "Fuck you! I'm I'm here to influence. It yeah. is my job to influence fashion, not get influenced by fashion." Yeah, like I'm this weird indie artist out in the fucking trenches. Yeah, like I should be creating the shit that inspires other people to rip it off. I'm not here yeah. to rip off other people's shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I, fringe I love, art form. I love this. I love this drag queen. Mm. I like any, yeah, but it's like, I just, I don't know, man, I like, I see so much out there that's just, uh, what's what's the word I'm looking for that I can't seem to 
place right Schlock? now. Schlock? No, like like um, <laughs> derivative. It's so much just like mm. no, like originality means so much more to me. Mm. Like I get so bummed out. Oh God, it nothing bums me out more than when I'm when someone else tries to pitch me a tagline, and it's the most odd. Like it happens. Ha! People come over, but hey, I got a tag for you. And I'm like, go for it. And it's like. Yeah, don't you think that was the first thing I thought? Yeah, yeah. And then realize, oh, everyone's going to think this. Not that. And I would rather take my time and get to where I got to. Yeah. And go through the pain of it bombing a lot. But ultimately get it somewhere where it's like, no one else was going to get it here. He really, that I I really know that for you. Yeah, but 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 that's just for me. Once for again. me, it's yeah. like, I just want the energy signature to to resonate as yeah. that person. Like in the weirdest ah. way, like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a psychonaut. I'm very hallucinogens, right? So that's I, a great name for a fucking album. Psychonaut. Yeah. Right. But uh, I, I want. I just want it to feel like that is that person's unique energy signature and I could I could see it in the dark. Like yeah. I I know. Yeah. I know that person. I know their vibe. I know like their point of origin, their perspective. That that is like that's all I want. Yeah. That's all I want. You do you do respond beautifully to that. I've noticed that when you when you like something, mm. you love it. I love it. One of my favorite, the best compliment I ever fucking got was this was a show you and I did right before the pandemic fully swang in, Woof. like March th 2020, but it was at the cellar and it was for that when they were doing the Comedy Central thing. Uh huh. And I had a, I had a good set and I, and you were up after me and I get off stage and you go, I will never forgive you for this. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it's so like, true. Like, oh, you've made me fucking lose it. I like, but I just, just you being like, having, I will never forgive you for that. No, th there have been like, I can think of like <laughs> three or four times that like, uh, it felt like there was no one else in the room, that you had found my funny bone and that oh, you yeah. were tap dancing on it oh. until I, until I fell apart. And it's happened like, it's not every time yeah. because you get to go out there and be a goddamn artist. But yeah. sometimes it happens that oh, yeah. you're on stage and I'm like, oh, he is fucking with my spirit. Well, that's good because I try when I write. I'm like, who? Do you, <laughs> I picture like there's like there's about a a rotating cast of maybe a dozen or so people in my head. Mm. Then when I'm writing bits, I'm mm. like, I hope that would I, like I think about them. I'm mm. like I think about like, oh yeah, that would that would get that reaction from Meron. Mm. But but I'm not just writing for him. Yeah, no, I'm writing for me too. Yes, you are. But also, but like, but you are also like you're so you. That's what I was saying at the beginning of the show. You, you are the outcome of someone who's never been in a pack, mm. right? And I think that's important mm. because the other thing, people in a pack meant. I think the reason why big wolf pack mentality is shit. Why oftentimes those people become so miserable and so hateful of everything around them that's mm. different is because by being in that pack, they are denying themselves mm. the opportunity to truly be themselves. That's and maybe wild. the and maybe themselves isn't that much different than who they are in that pack. Yep. But in that pack, they know there's just a level they'll never achieve of true self revel self expression, self expression. Yeah, and that event, that that sort of what's it, what, the initial sort of set? so they poop. But then the, the here's where I get pissed yeah. off is that then they poo poo the idea of self expression. Well, of course they do, right? Because, because they don't want anybody they can't else attain it. Because then then that means someone else is doing something they can't do. Yeah, that they gotta. Yeah, and it's like they're afraid to accept. Like that's a bummer. Oh, I just can't do that. I'm mm. not brave enough to step away. Mm. And so they hate, dude. That's, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've seen that my entire fuck. And we all have. Yeah, of course. The more like, I mean, dude, it's it's half like wearing wearing. Sometimes I hate wearing new clothes around people just to just because just something like hey nice uh, and you're like why why did why do you have to oh because it's I, do you different. even know so you uh, when I mm -hmm. came on you were like he's always in wacky jackets mm -hmm. so uh, I put on just literally a shirt that I grabbed from the closet yeah and God forbid some lighter colored pants God forbid I know and I went to the cellar and literally it was like so you sell boats now. Uh, like the shit people said it, they were like, oh, so are you, are you, are you in real she estate? The other way. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> You're selling me a house? Yeah. Uh, you, you look like you, and I made this one up, but you look like you pose with uh, cars that aren't yours. Uh, you, uh, uh, like, uh, as if it was just a string of, uh, you know, people expect you to show up in a certain way, and when you don't show up that uh, way, it throws them off. So guys, guys, Maron's straight now. I am. I can't like that, that kind of, oh. like, <laughs> no, oh. 
Oh, if I could. Yeah. If I could. Just if, to, to up the debauchery. Yeah. You know, for no other reason but to but to extend and expand the bacchanalia. Oh yeah, do right. You, I, I feel I feel gay dudes are way the bacchanalia is way more dangly and, <laughs> and just just there, just just, just accessible. Yeah. 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 The dangly bacchanalia, also well, a great like, album title. Again, it's like if you're not included in all of these circles, right? right? It's like you be, you got to find your fucking fun. Yeah, yeah, Right? Yeah. You have to. And, like, I don't know what it is about, like, I, the, I don't I, the, Surely there's research out there that I haven't read about, but, like, how how homos end up, like, in, in theater and, and, like, decoration. Like, these these worlds. How we end up in colorful worlds. I don't understand. I feel like it. it's like the brain, like, like the you know uh, the 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 part of the brain that wants the dick. A dick is more streamlined, maybe, than a vagina is. This is wild. So it leaves more room for the artistic side of the brain to grow, right? <laughs> this is crazy. This is just, it is so much easier to put so, flowers in a vagina than in the urethra of a man. Yeah, that is Does true. It, do you know that what I mean? Fact. Yeah. That one is like when the the flower power '60s when you yeah. put the when you put the daisy in the rifle. Yeah, right. There, that's what you can get with a guy, but with a lady, you can really get into like a, um, ikebana, maybe like Japanese floral arrangement. Like you can the, really run with it with a with a birth canal. Do you think it was that that early on gay guys had to be so secretive about being gay that like they had to expression had to come in other ways? No, I have no. no idea. I know that my entire life I wanted color. I know that yeah. when I was three, my dad said to my brothers when uh, he dropped us off in the United States, he said, careful with this kid. Uh, he would sell his ass for candy. Damn. Right? How do you know? Right? And I was like, yeah. talk about a win-win. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but <laughs> yeah. but uh yeah, I I don't know what it is, but my whole life I have been pretty rooty tooty fresh and fruity. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I mean, I've I think, never Yeah. I never had the luxury of of blending in. That wasn't that wasn't on the table. I I still I still I'm I'm sticking with my uh brain comp the, penis? the, bra the, the brain dick? compartment sizes. Uh -huh. You know? Uh -huh. A vagina a vagina sort of stays the same it ex it expands to yeah. give birth yeah. but then retracts so the uh, you know a penis can shrink down smaller. So that's the the desirable part of the brain, whatever. A vagina literally I'm, it's, it's, it, it accommodates I'm, as a, I'm, a watermelon. As I do, as, as, as I'm saying, In that time. size uh -huh. absorbs most of the straight man brain. So there's no room to grow to want to be in design or. Okay, so once again, we are blaming <laughs> but then, women. But then a di no. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, then the dick, but then a dick expands too. So my theories. Does it ever? A dick expands. So then. Does it ever? That Sean? theory's a no go. That theory's out. I don't know. Yeah, that theory's Not out. Not as much as a vagina. They don't. I've never seen a dick go watermelon. Have you ever been on? The, well, let's have do you it. ever been let's on the dark it. web? No. <laughs> Yes, Sean. Good job. Dark web. I think the I think the moral here that we get to is. Yeah, individuality. Yes, Seek sir. it out. Be it yourself. Yes, sir. Exude it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Champion it in uh, others. And don't and, and don't uh, and don't be afraid of it. Be the horse butter. <laughs> Not another word. <laughs> I love you, Sean. Love you back, buddy. Yay.